Hello friends, this is Anand Golodkar and you are watching my channel Flexible Mathematics and uh, today I will teach you how to multiply the numbers easily which are near to the power of 10 means near to the 10, 100, 1000 and so on. So, there are so many methods and uh, this is not my own method, actually this is a Vedic math but I am just uh, representing that method in front of you. So by using this method you can easily multiply the numbers of single digit two digit three digit and so on okay so in youtube this trick is already available but uh, in some cases uh, there is a complication in in that case what to do that i will tell you today so first of all let's start with the easier example means by taking a single digit number so you know very well how to multiply a single digit number and you already remember the tables i hope so so first of all, let's start with a very simple example. So, if you want to multiply 8 and 7, answer you already know that the answer will be 56. But uh, by using this trick, how we will get the answer? So, here you have to just uh, consider that uh, 8 and 7 both are near to the 10. 8 is less than 10 and 7 is also less than 10. Now 8 is less than 10 by how much? By 2. So here we will write minus 2. And 7 is also less than 10 by how much? It is by minus 3. Now, the next step is to do a cross subtraction. Cross subtraction means what? Here you have to subtract this and this. Otherwise, this and this. Answer will be same. If you subtract 8 and 3, the answer will be 5. And if you subtract 7 and 2, the answer will be 5. So, here we will write the answer 5. Now, what is the next step? The next step is to multiply these two numbers, ignoring the sign. Okay, so here you will get 2, 3 is 6. So, you can see that 56, 8, 7 are 56, that is our answer. So, I have just uh, explained this basic example because... Uh, you are going to learn a harder one. So, this was easier. Now, what is the complications? Now, <coughs> the numbers which are not very close to 10, in that case, what to do? Suppose we take uh, another two digits. Suppose 6 and 7. Answer we know that 6 sevens are 42. But by using this trick, uh, how we can do this? So, 6 is less than 10 and 7 is also less than 10. 6 is less than 10 by minus 4 and 7 is less than 10 by minus 3. Now, same procedure goes across subtraction. 6 minus 3, you will get answer 3. Or 7 minus 4, you will get the answer 3. That we will write here. But, 4 3 is a, it's 12. Here, if single digits are there, then here also you have to put a single digit. But here we are getting 4, 3 are 12, means we are getting 2 digits. So that uh, first digit of that 2 digits, you have to carry this to here. Means this 1, this extra 1 will be carried over here. So 3 plus 1, 4 and the remaining is 2. So, 42 is our answer, means 6 sevens are 42 using this trick, okay? So, this was uh, for single digits number. Now, we will learn how to multiply two digit number. Okay, so... Single digit number should be near to the 10, but two digit number should be near to 100. So it will be much easier. So let's start with one easy example. You can say 97 multiply 95. If you do this multiplication by the ordinary method, then it will take a lot of time. But if you do this sum by using this trick, it will consume a very less time. So here 97 and 95 both are near to 100 but both are less than 100. Here 97 is less than 100 by how much? Yes by 3 and 95 is less than 100 by 5. But 
one thing keep in mind if we are two digit you have written then here also you have to write two digits so 97 is less than 100 by 3 but here you have to write minus 0 3 two digits two digits and 95 is also less than 100 by how much by 5 so here you have to write minus 0 5 now same processor we have done already okay so 97 and 95 here you have to do cross subtraction 97 minus 5 you will get the answer 92 and 95 minus 3 the answer will be 92 so answer will be 92 we will write here 92 now here what to do here you have to multiply this both 3 5 are 15 so finally we are getting the answer 9215 9, so if you multiply this number in calculator 92 multiply 95 the answer will be 9215 so it was easy but uh, what is complicated but if the number is not very close to 100 then what to do then there will be a little bit requirement of the tables uh, suppose we will take another two numbers which are little bit hard let's say 85 and 97 now in this case what to do now 85 is less than 100 and 97 is also less than 100 but 85 is not very close to 100 it is less than 100 by 15 and here we are getting two digits so now there is no need to write a zero so here we will write directly minus 15 97 is also less than 100 by how much by 3 but here two digits will require we will write a 0 3 by minus 0 3 now same procedure again 85 minus 3 you will get answer 80 or 97 minus 15 you will get the answer 82 so we will write 82 here now what about this 15 3 za. here you have to multiply these two numbers so 15 3 za. 45 so here we will getting the answer 8245 now when we are getting 3 digits here what to do Okay, let's do one another sum for that. Same example we are taking 85, but instead of 97, I am taking 92. Now, 85 is less than 100 by minus 15, and 92 is less than 100 by minus 8. Now, in this case, what to do? 85 minus 8 or 92 minus 15 you will get the same answer that is 77 so 85 minus 8 or 92 minus 15 we are getting 77 but if we multiply 15 and 8 we will get 120 means 3 digits we are getting and we will we only require 2 digits so that uh, extra 1 the extra 1 of 120 will be carried over here so this 1 will be carried here so the answer will be 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 2, 0. So this was uh, the complication and uh, by using this uh, you can solve this. Okay. So finally we will learn how to multiply 3 digits number. Same operation we will do. Now for 3 digits, 3 digits should be near to 1000, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. So we are going in 3 digits. So let's take uh, 2 numbers which are near to 1000. So let's take uh, 992 and 997. So you can use your calculator and if you multiply these 2 numbers by using ordinary method, this will be uh, too much longer. But by using this trick, it will be very easier. So 992 is less than 1000. By how much? By 8. If we, eight, if we add 8 in 992, we will get the answer 1000. So here we will write 8. But as I said, if 3 digits are here, then you also write 3 digits. Means we have to write 8, but how? Like this, 0, 0, 8. And 997 is also less than 1000 by how much? By 3. We will write 0, 0, 3. So, now same operation. Cross subtraction. 
Here you can do 992 minus 3 or 997 minus 8. The answer will be same and that will be 989. Now we will multiply this to 8 3 is a 24. We are getting 24 as an answer. But as I said, if 3 digits here, we will also require 3 digits. So 1 digit is missing, so add 0. So finally, 989024 is our answer. So let's take one hard example. So the next number is 950. Okay, then 910. So this number are not very close to 1000. Okay, so 950 is less than 1000. By how much? By 50. So here we will require 3, so we will write 0, 5, 0, 0, 50. And 910 is less than 1000. By how much? By 90. So here we will write 0, 9, 0. So here we will do cross subtraction. 950 minus 90. Oh, 910 minus 50. So the answer will be 860. But now what to do here? Here you know 5 lines are 45. And this 0 and this 0 will make it 4500. Means 50 lines are 4500. We are getting 4 digits. Means we are getting 1 digit extra. So that extra digit 4 will write here. 4500. So finally, this extra 4 will be carried out here. So finally, you will get the answer 864500. So, by using this trick, uh, you can see that we can multiply single digit, two digit, three digit, and so on, many numbers. So I hope you will like this. Please share and subscribe. And uh, I will upload uh, new videos soon. Thank you.